Hey guys, here it is, Chad Flynn. I am back. It's Monday. I stayed true to my word and I stayed off social media all weekend. Well, not off social media, but I did not do a Facebook Live, which to be honest was kind of nice. It was nice taking a bit of a break. I got out and hung out with the family and uh, I'm sure you're not here to hear about that. So let me talk about a couple things. Make sure you're popping by theelectricacademy.com. All my video tutorials go on there. I'm starting to add blog posts. I'm starting to actually add blogs to these videos that I'm doing. So there'll be a little write-up on some of them. The one I posted recently was how to get along with a coworker you don't get along with. So I posted that to theelectricacademy.com. Make sure you go check that out and check that one. If you go to the bottom of the homepage, it's got a little blurb there about it. Or if you go to the blog section. Also, for you electrical apprentices out there who are struggling with electrical theory, this is the place to go because I've got video tutorials that I post there as well as on YouTube. So you'll want to check actually probably YouTube right now because I've got a whole backlog of videos that I've got to upload to the website. But there's tons of stuff on there. I just did one on uh, Ohm's Law and a DC series circuit. So I went through Ohm's Law, Bolt Drop, Kirchhoff's Law and Watt's Law. So I went through that all in the video. Check that out for sure. There's a lot going on with that. Um, also, just to get some housekeeping done, Make sure if you're on this page, if you're on the Electric Academy fan page here or the business page, whatever they call it, can you give me a like? Just hit a like there. It helps get the word out. helps people understand that this page is actually just more than some guy talking all by himself. And at the top, you'll see that there's a learn more button. If you click on that learn more button, what you're going to do is get me asking you for your email so I can send you a PDF of online resources that I put together for electricians. Because I know that out there, there's tons of... Uh, stuff that we run into all the time that we need some sort of resource to go to. So what I did was threw together a little PDF. So hopefully that's of value to you. I've gotten lots of great feedback. So again, make sure you go to that electricacademy.com. I posted a poll on the weekend about for business people, for you guys who are of the Electric Academy, who uh, are business owners. And I wanted to know if you were into having some sort of subscription service, make sure you check that out and give your likes yes or no to that. Honestly, if, you, if, it's a, if it's a no, I want to know that it's a no. So if you could do me a huge favor and hit that no, that'd be great. All right, that's all I really want to talk about as far as the housekeeping stuff. I'm going to be slowing down on these a bit only because I teach and school's coming up in September. I teach two courses. I teach an entrepreneurship for trades course and I teach a foundations, entry-level foundation course. And so that's going to require a bit of prep for me in the next couple of weeks. I love doing these Facebook Lives, though, so it's probably going to be slowing down to every couple days, all right? Also, if you go check out that Learn More button, you end up getting subscribed to my newsletter, so you get in the loop as to what's going on at the Electric Academy and all the new videos and stuff that I'm being posted. All right, today, let's talk about this three-way switch. Here's the re reason why I brought this one up. I got a call from a friend, and all you electricians, you probably had this, especially resi electricians, you've had this call. A friend says, from the bottom of the stairs, I can turn the light on. I go up to the top of the stairs, I can turn the light off. And I'm like, okay, sure. And he says, but then when I go back to the bottom of the stairs, I can't turn the light on. So what do you think that is? If you're watching this right now, put in the comments what you might think that is. I can tell you exactly what the problem is. And like I tell my students, what you have to do is you've got to look annoyed. You've got to open up that switch. you got to look really pissed off. You go out to the car for a while, say that you're making a phone call, come back in a couple minutes later, look really annoyed, and then all you have to do is do one simple thing. You're going to switch a traveler with a common, and that's all that's happened, is your traveler and common got switched. I'm going to show you. I've got actually a little diagram that I put up on this one. You switch those two around, and I would say 9.9 .9 times out of 10, your light's going to work. Now, here's the thing. I've got a little drawing here. Let me show you. Let's do the old screen share. Call this up here and preview. All right, so what I've got, I've got two situations here as far as, um, let's see if I can get this guy out of the way. There we go. I've got power coming in. I've got two different scenarios. I've got power coming in here. This is my light, and I've got my switch three-way switch down here and my three-way switch down here. Now, with three-way switches, you obviously have three terminals. You have this terminal down here, which is always black. It's called your common. And what a common is, is you're bringing power to the, com to the switch or you're taking power from the switch to the light, all right? Then over here, we have our travelers. And those bring power on either leg over to the other travelers on the other three-way switch. Now, you need two three-way switches to, for this all to work. Then you have the common here. So let's see this scenario and how I've got it played out. 
power. We'll call this my home run. Power comes in on the black. All right. Now what I've done is I've taken the black and I've meredded it, which is what this is here, to the white wire. Now here's the thing that trips people up. The neutral is always white or your identified wire always is white. Your white doesn't always have to be a neutral or identified wire. It can actually be turned to a hot wire. And sometimes you have to do that. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to take the power down on the white. So it goes down here on the white and we're bringing power to the three-way switch. All right. Then I'm taking power over on the two travelers. Boom, boom. And then from this common, this guy goes all the way through. He morets onto the black here, morets onto the black of the light, and away you go. So again, the common is either, I've got power either coming to the common switch, or the common is taking it to all the way to the light. Hopefully you're picking up on that. All right, now the common problem, <laughs> common problem because it is a problem with the common, is this white and this white, because sometimes they'll get screwed up or they're not really paying attention, they'll get um, tossed, or not tossed, they'll get um, switched. So you have this one over here being, you'll have your, what's supposed to be a traveler being on your common, what's supposed to be a common being on your traveler, and that's what screws it up. All right, so that's scenario number one. Now let's, uh, let me go up to here, go to window, and let's look at scenario number two. In this case, what I've got is, let me just get this out of the way, I've got my power down here, and my power is coming into my switch box. All right, so in this case, what I've done here is I've taken my black, which is my hot, goes to the common right away. Then over here, I've got my common, or I'm sorry, my traveler and a traveler on a black and a, and a red, black and a red. So those guys go over to my travelers over here, and then the common, look at that, goes right up to the light. Now the white wire gets all the way down through here. Now you notice I got blue. Obviously, I'm not going to do white, so I'm using the blue wire as my white wire. Sorry, I should have mentioned that off the hop. That white wire has got to splice through because this light here requires that neutral, right? It re requires a return path. So it goes all the way through and splices onto that. That is a very common uh, circuit. There's the two most common, actually, is you have that one where you're bringing your power into your switch box. Or, let's go back up here. And you're bringing your power into your light and then dropping down. So remember, this is the trick with this one. Your white doesn't always have to be your neutral. So I can t pigtail the black onto the white, take the white down as a hot. All right, because the reason why we don't want to do it the opposite way is because then you would have, if this black wire was actually the white, say I swapped these two around and I had the switch leg as white, then I'd have a white wire and a white wire. And it, when it came time to troubleshoot, I wouldn't know which is my hot, which is my neutral, and it becomes dangerous. So again, you want to splice on and take your white as a hot, white never as your switch leg. All right, let's get back to the screen here. And let's get me up on here. Let's see what's going on here. Get my ecam. sorry, I know this live is fun stuff. All right, so that's my three-way switching lesson. I'm not gonna go into the four ways because we'd be here forever. Similar idea though, a four-way switch just has two sets of travelers going through it. Really super easy. I am amazed by how many people don't understand how three-way switches work. I teach this all the time. I teach it in school, but then I'm also showing other contractors and other journeymen out there how to do this. All right, here's the end of the show. Um, one thing I want to mention is I thought I was doing a favor to people. I was uploading my videos to different groups, and I apologize for that. I think I came across as a bit spammy, and I did not want to do that. I was just trying to get the word out about this Facebook Live show. And so I apologize to anybody that I pissed off with spamming all the groups. I'm not going to do that anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to post this in my own groups. And if you guys could do me a favor and share these videos, that would be awesome. Pass them on to your friends. I want to keep this going. I'm enjoying doing it. I think there's value out there. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about. I've gotten some great requests over the past few days from people. And I want to just keep this going. So I know I disappeared on the weekend. I'm back this week. And I know I said I'll probably do one every couple days. That could change. There's some awesome news coming down on Wednesday as well. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure you're joining the newsletter. And that is all. Um, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you download that online resource. Thanks a lot, guys. Work safe out there. I hope you're having a great day. I'm going to call us a quitsy because it is now 10 minutes in. And Netflix, The Defenders, is on. And I just got to go watch it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Work safe.